I'm here post fight in the locker room with Mike Alvarado and Mike very very tough fight very close fight up until uh, the knockdowns uh, how are you feeling in the beginning of the fight it seemed like you had a lot of those early rounds yeah I mean I I, I was already had him under control I had him where I wanted him um, he started getting through that that uh, focus of mine and I started you know kind of willing into his his game so I mean, it was a good fight. You know, it was very entertaining, and I mean, I give him all the respect in the world. I mean, he did what he had to do. He stood strong. He stood focused, and he kept capitalizing on what he needed to do. So, I mean, it's just the way the fight had to go. Yeah, was it was a lot of constant pressure that he put on. I didn't see a one single punch that had knocked you down, but in that round, when you, it almost looked like that second knockdown. You even kind of took a knee there. Uh, what did you see? Was it just the flurry of punches that had you affected in those round first against the ropes, and then the second one when you dropped your knee? It was a lot of punishment that mm -hmm. I was, you know, I could have overcame too as well, but it's no need for that. You know, mm -hmm. I was, I was show, I was showing that, showing my my professionalism as far as, you know, being seasoned in this boxing game that, you know, it's, it's a good thing to, it'll save you from, you know, taking trips to the hospital and long to longevity in, in this boxing game. So, I mean, it was just another learning experience for me. So, you know, I'm gonna learn from this, I'm gonna get right back up and I'll be back stronger twice as ever. Was there anything that you felt like you could have done differently or was it just the fact that his punches and his Braja punches and his power was just too much? Um, it was at times, but, I mean, a little bit more of, you know, some, some movement, a little bit more stiff, stiff, strong jabs would have kept him back a little bit more. But just the way the fight was supposed to go, I mean, it was just destined that way. Mm -hmm. So I In went. that 10th round, uh, it almost you did actually walk to the wrong corner, and then they brought you over to your corner. You sat down on the stool. Tony <laughs> Weeks came to took, take a look at you. What in that moment made you guys decide that you had had enough? I mean, it was the punishment I was taking, you know. I, uh, a couple rounds of some extra punishment could have been a life-changing experience. You know, it could have, you know, been even worse at the end of that. So, I was I was thinking of, you know, my health. So, and the future of it. So, that just made a good decision. I thought. I think you made a good decision for your career. I don't think, although you lost tonight, and it was a tough loss here in your home crowd, everybody still had your back. Everyone was still clapping for you when you walked out. And I know that you're going to get back in camp, train your butt off, and that you'll be back to put on another great show like we're used to seeing you put on. Definitely, I'll be back. Um, well, you know, I give him the respect for what he performed tonight. But, you know, it's just another learning experience for me. So I'll just, I'll be back, you know. All right, well, we're looking forward to it. Thank you for your time. We really appreciate it, Mike. Thank you.